In this chapter, I'm going to present to you the fundamentals or basic building blocks of Python, which includes the data types, expressions, statements, and variables. And we're going to start off talking about expressions and statements, also variables, before we talk about the data types, primarily because you need to see how to write even the simplest programs in Python. So to be more effective in my presentation, we're going to work with the interactive shell. The interactive shell is in Python 2.7.2. I'm going to go to that subdirectory, and then to start the shell, I'm going to type Python. And the interactive shell allows us to enter Python programs interactively, so I can enter expressions and statements without having to be in some sort of editor and then run the interpreter from the command line. I won't do this very often, but for this particular lesson, especially on expressions, it's the most effective way to present the information to you. The most basic expression in Python would be a single data item or datum. So for example, typing in the number one is an expression that evaluates to itself. So one is a piece of literal data and a piece of literal data or datum is an expression and it evaluates to itself. Of course, a more complicated expression, in this case called an arithmetic expression, 1 plus 2 will evaluate to whatever the result is of applying the arithmetic operator plus to 1 and 2. And you can have much more complex expressions such as 1 plus 2 times 3 divided by 2, which yields 4, but we're going to talk more about those when we talk about numbers. Besides numbers, we can also have string expressions. So for example, hello plus world yields hello world. Notice that I put the strings in single quotes. I can also use double quotes. Whatever your preference is works fine. And you can concatenate, that's what we're doing here, as many different strings together as you want. Oops, a little, made a little mistake there. I hit enter before I finished, so you see what happened. It told me that was syntax error, invalid syntax. We'll talk more about errors later, but since you've seen one, I'll just leave it in here so that you can understand what happens. What I was trying to do, we'll try it one more time, was demonstrate a long concatenation. And I should mention that the plus sign works for both numbers and strings. With numbers, it's the addition operator. With strings, it's the concatenation operator. And concatenation just simply means combining multiple strings into one string, like I did just there. Notice that even though I use double quotes for my strings, internally, Python represents the string with a single quote. But again, it's your choice how to do that. Another type of expression might be a Boolean expression, where we write something like 100 greater than 200. And that returns a false value. So that's another example of an expression. There are others, but we'll stop with numbers, strings, and Booleans for right now. So after expressions, the next building block would be statements. There are lots of different types of statements. There are assignment statements. There are looping statements. There are if statements to make decisions. We'll start out with the simplest, or probably the one you need to learn the first, and that would be assignment statements. So assignment statements are used to assign values to variables. So for example, here we're assigning the value 100 to the variable num. So here I'm introducing both statements and variables in one example. You'll notice that I don't have to provide a data type with my variable. Python automatically assigns data types based on the values that are assigned to variables. So I can turn around and write that expression and it works just as well. Now num holds the string 1. So variables in Python are very flexible. Let's go back to our original example and then just to demonstrate a common use of variables. We can use variables in expressions and the interpreter will look up their value and then evaluate it accordingly. So num2 gets the value 300 because num has the value 100 and num1 has the value 200. So now you've seen examples of the three fundamental concepts I wanted to describe in this lesson. Expressions, which can be of different types. You can have numeric expressions, you can have string expressions, you can have Boolean expressions, and those aren't the only types, but those are the three most common we're going to see early in the course. Then I demonstrated how to use variables via the assignment statement and 
how they apply in expressions themselves. So with that, we're ready to move on to the next lesson where we're going to delve a little deeper into the numeric data types.